Hello everyone, this is Walter Rodriguez here. I have recently had the great pleasure of recording an arrangement that I wrote for Beautiful Love uh, for two guitars with the amazing Emil Ernebro. If you haven't seen that video, click here on this link and I'll also leave another link on the uh, video description. And some people asked me if I could um, record a tutorial to go over the reharmonization that I did for the tune. So I decided to put this video together and if you enjoy this type of video, uh, tutorials, uh, mini lessons, make sure to check my Patreon page. I'll also leave the link here and down on the video description for uh, more tutorials, uh, mini lessons and other great instructional materials. So without further ado, let's get into it. The song starts with a 2-5-1 in D minor. So it goes um, E minor 7 flat 5 to A7 to D minor. What I did here, because the other guitar is playing the melody, uh, for the E minor 7 flat 5, I just played a E minor 7 chord the root, I play the open E to get, you know, the low, low bass. Uh, the minor third and the seventh. So, then an A7. Now for the D minor, instead of, you know, the regular D minor seven shape, I play this shape, this voicing here. I have the root. The minor third, the seventh, and then I double the third. And the reason why is because from here I went half step higher while maintaining the melody note on top. Every time the melody is a minor third of a minor chord, so in this case you have a, a D minor seven chord and the melody note is an F, so it's the minor third. So you can sustain the melody note and move the rest of the chord half step higher. So I'm gonna give you uh, another example. Let's take, uh, let's say the song uh, Autumn Leaves. Right, so right here when you go to uh, A minor 7 the melody note is a C and the chord is A so the C is a minor third right so you can hold the melody and move the whole chord half step higher E minor 7 to A7 D minor E flat minor 9 and back to D minor. Now we go to G minor, so I'm gonna play the 5 chord, which is a D7. I played with the flat 9. Here I played a G minor 9. So now we have a 2 5 in F major. So 2 5 would be C7. So this is a C9 sus, dominant chord. A C9. So this is a F major 7. If you stop on the B string, that's gonna be a F major 7 sus 2 because you don't you're not playing the third. So if you add the third of the chord, then it's gonna be a F major 9 chord. So from the top. Now I played a F major with the sharp five now. Then I went to E minor nine. Now here's another tip for you. Um, when we have a um, a major chord and the melody is the major third, you can add 
the sharp five. So the da 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 da. You can resolve it to the six. In this case, I went to the E minor nine because we have another uh, two five one in D minor coming. So pa da 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 pa da da la da la. I mean the sharp five going to E minor nine. Oh, to A7 flat 13 instead of D minor 7 again I play D minor major 7 with the 9 now we go to G minor and I did the same thing here minor major 7 so now we have uh, the original uh, progression here would be ba, ba, would be B flat 7 sharp 11 what I did here I went to I play E minor 9 chord so this is basically a 2 5 1 again in, in D minor so to A9 now instead of going to I went to a major chord so you can either play a D major 7 or you can play a A over D which would be a, also a D major 7 chord but because you're not playing the third would be a D major 7 sus2 chord then B minor now from here I go to a flat 7 chord flat to major 7 so this is a C major 9 chord now before we go to the 5 chord I play a passing chord here so C major 9 so descending line for the bass so this is a G over B C G over B now A9 sus to A9 uh, let's take it from uh, the last four measures instead of going again to instead of going to 2-5-1 in D minor I went to 2-5-1 in the relative major which is F so G minor 7 to C9 B flat major 7 G minor 7 now the 5 chord instead of going to D minor I went to D major 7 play either D major 7 or D major 9 I like the the color of the 9 here now 2 5 1 in D minor instead of playing just D minor 7 I play D minor major 7 D minor major 7 with the 9 like in the first A now instead of playing the B7 sharp 11 now I'm creating a uh, ascending movement uh, bass line movement here so E over G sharp A minor 7 now the dominant chord A9 sus A9 ba -da -da. instead of going to the one chord I went to the flat six ba -da -da -da. so this is kind of a deceptive cadence instead of going from five to the one I went from five to flat six ba -da -da. And from here, B flat major 9, I went to 
B minor 9 or you can just play a B minor 7 chord here this is a nice voicing for me uh, B minor 9 G minor 7 to A9 and it ends on the one chord D minor 7 now let me play the whole thing again very slowly first A play the D minor on one two three four end for the beginning of the solos so that's pretty much the reharmonization of the of the head of the tune a beautiful love <laughs> 